watching Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel, where I talk about things that interest me in the area of edible things, cool looking things, things you grow in your yard in Florida. Maybe. Maybe you consider growing them in your yard in Georgia, or California, or some other place, or in your greenhouse in Vermont. Yeah, so I've had a long journey with bamboo enthusiasm for bamboo and that's what this video is about so I had at one point I will admit over double digit quantity in my collection of different varieties of bambusa bamboo which is a clumping style bamboo it doesn't run and uh, you know I tried sea breeze bamboo which is incredible salt tolerant bamboo super super strong but uh, geez it's gigantic uh, it just feels unstoppable at some point almost scary in its growth um, Bambusa vulgaris, the two types of, you know, and Buddha belly bamboo, and 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 multiplex, and uh, all kinds of different varieties. But ultimately, I just wanted to coexist with bamboo in my life, and I had to reduce it down out of that double-digit collection in my yard, which is a long story of, which involves things like spending an afternoon chopping down and stacking timber bamboo, bambusa of uh, old hammy. But uh, yeah, this one, this one, Multiplex, has really been a keeper. They call it a shrub bamboo, but look, you get the effect of the bamboo, but you don't get the endless growth. Now, it's maintained that ring and that size for 15 years. So it's like, fine, you can ha you could have that. That's how much of the yard I want you to take, not more and more and more. Because that is the sensation of every other bamboo I've had practically. With the exception of that one, and this one is behaving quite nicely. Uh, could, that relationship could change any day now, but this is, this is Buddha Belly Bamboo, and uh, you can see that it's doing quite well. But I do keep it trimmed, and uh, the key is with all of these bamboos is to keep them trimmed so that the, you can see the stalk. Is that, isn't that what you want to see? Isn't that what everybody wants to see? Look at that Buddha Belly, that variegated. I mean, just so beautiful, the different colors. It's, um, it's a terrific bamboo, but these two are the only finalists in my yard. The Multiplex, aka Shrub Bamboo, which I trim a lot because it doesn't look like that naturally. It looks like a big shrub, but if you trim the bottom, you can get this kind of umbrella cool look. And this one, which I do the same thing to. It would look like, all these bamboos would look like big bushes if I didn't keep them up trimming. So this is a good way. Maybe you'd pick one of these two varieties, a Bambusa Multiplex or Bambusa. Uh, it's actually a Bambusa vulgaris, but they call it Buddha Belly Bamboo. You plant some of those in your yard and, you know, just put up the white flag. You're going to lose about that much of your yard. That's just going to get that big. And then you can keep it maintained, cut out the dead ones. And, you know, we use them to make all kinds of things, too. That's the cool thing about bamboo. It's like I used them to make... a. I, at one point, I, I've got videos on this on, on the channel, Eat Your Backyard, but you, uh, built, I built a bamboo bridge, built a ladder, you know, a big ladder to get up in the oak tree, built rafts, built oh, <laughs> fishing rods galore, etc., 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 lattices, use it for landscaping, gardening. Anyway, so yeah, get a, get a bamboo. Do it. Pull the trigger. Put your hair down. Take a risk. <laughs> or just plant a bamboo. You gotta find them first though. You gotta find one. You gotta find a nursery that sells them. And uh, usually you'll find these bamboo crazy nurseries. Like there's no nursery that just sells one bamboo. They'll be nuts. They'll have ten varieties or whatever. At least that's been my my experience. So if you find that, you know, you gotta go get it. Sometimes you're gonna have to drive or, or something. Maybe. But uh, let me know what you do. All right, thanks for watching. Eat your backyard. Go ahead, subscribe. That way, every time I have a tangential moment, you'll be uh, you'll be notified. Your pocket will begin to buzz. Uh, a sensation will rise up in you, and um, I don't know. Then maybe at that point you're going to unsubscribe. I don't know, but I'd encourage you to subscribe so uh, you're notified when Eat Your Backyard comes at you next. Thanks for watching. Oh, check out this cool little see that cool little flower. Those hibiscus. Rockstar level.